Hello folks, Dr. Lenz here and I'm going to go over this source use from a web page in this post here. Uh, we got a couple of things going on here that's making it rather confusing. First, uh, this is cited as being by Marvel and the uh, peer review was correct to point out that it should not be Marvel in the citation because Marvel does not connect us to the first item of either works cited entry. What we do have for a works cited entry is Stan Lee. So I'm guessing it's this source here. However, this Marvel is it maybe in reference to the website. Um, it's a little confusing, so let's take a look at this web page to see if we can figure out what's going on. So we have a direct quote, Master Marksman, Expert Acrobat, and Military a Trained Combatant, Skilled Technician, and Field Commander. Okay, so I think I have things figured out. Um, what the student is doing is the student is pulling from each of these little tabs and that's where it's getting a little confusing with what's being directly quoted because it's being from a couple of different things so that needs to be sort of smoothed out um, I would suggest keeping the focus on this direct quote um, instead because I think it's pretty common knowledge that Hawkeye is you know a master marksman um, that's kind of his trademark it's pretty widely known but this other stuff is maybe a little lesser known so I would keep the focus on this and get rid of the master marksman okay so what we need to also figure out is is there an actual author I don't think it is Stan Lee because Stan Lee is of course you know the father of marvel comics but did he actually write this web page and what i'm seeing is we need to be looking for an actual author an actual by someone on this web page somewhere and the common places to look are going to be like by a title or maybe down here by a copyright. So, and this was more of an informational page, so this is definitely sort of like staff written, um, you know, like a team of people have put this whole thing together. So, I would have to say there is no clear author for this particular web page. So, Let's get in and let's get this figured, uh, cleaned up. Let's get rid of this first. Okay. I don't think we need Marvel here. So what do we need? There is no author, and we can't put staff because it doesn't even say staff or anything like that. We just need to get rid of that. So MLA loves to sort of streamline things and get rid of redundancy and stuff like that. So if there is no author, skip it. Don't invent anything. So if we don't have an author, what do we put for a citation? because the citation needs to connect us to the very first item of a works cited entry. And what is the first item now? Because we don't have an author, it's the title. But that's a pretty long title, so I would say we can shorten it to the first, you know, important word or so. And this one, I would say Hawkeye, that is enough that we need. Respect title formats. In parentheses there it's done now we have the name of the website which is good with the comma and the peer also pointed out that we should maybe not include URLs for our works cited entry and that is correct I would say we we drop them 
So let's get rid of that. So we have the website. And what comes next is who is publishing the website? Who is paying the bills for the server space? Who holds the copyright? So the website is like marvel.com. Um, so I would say the website would actually be marvel.com. And who is holding the web site? Who is responsible for it? Marvel is responsible for it because they are paying the bills. But we can also take a look. Next to the copyright is where you're often going to find who is responsible for it, who is publishing it. MLA also dictates that if the website is the same name as the publisher, we drop the publisher. I'm going to make the difference here just to just to streamline things, but we have marvel.com, so we know that's the website. Marvel is hosting it. So, and then we, next we need the publication date. We don't have a specific date. And where you would look for that would be, you know, somewhere around a title, something like that. But for sort of general information pages like this, we aren't really going to find a date. But we do need like maybe a last update sort of time frame or something. So once again, look down at the copyright. And we have the year 2022. So that means it was last sort of updated in the year 2022. So it's a pretty current website. So we put in the year because that's all we have for a date. For a publication date. And then we end it with an access date. So we have the access. I'm going to put today's date just for simplicity. So we have accessed. We need that label. The number 15 February. And then the year. End it with a period. So let's get the period on that one. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and fix this right here. Streaming sites are in italics. We have the director, we have everything else. So now we are looking good and correct. So there we have it. And let's go ahead and change that determiner. And okay, eight minute video to explain all of this. Sorry about the length, but hey, this is important stuff. So we are now all done.